Uh, there probably is no better evidence of being beachside property about 100 million years ago than our ripple marks. Our ripple marks are all across the Front Range. We have five or six sites here on Dinosaur Ridge where you can see really neat ripple waved, uh, wave rippled sand that we have here is done by wave currents washing in and washing back. So you end up with these nice symmetrical or a little asymmetrical um, ripple marks here done. But the weird thing at this spot is that they're in patches. We don't see a whole surface of ripple marked sand. We just see it in spots. And that is because of a really cool thing. What you're looking at here and what you're looking at everywhere else on Dinosaur Ridge, the surface is probably going to be sandstone. And if not sandstone, it's going to be mudstone. Those are really the two different kinds of sedimentary rock that we have here. But this surface in a lot of areas is not stone. It's actually a fossil, which is really cool. This is an algal mat. Mats of algae were out in the ocean floating around, much like they do today, get washed up on shore and lay on our flat beaches. Remember, our once flat beaches. And so we have these really cool mats of algae. And as the waves are hitting them, they are ripping up chunks and washing it back out of the algae. And wherever it rips up a chunk of algae, it exposes the sand, the beach sand. As the waves continue to wash in and out, you see the ripple marks which is what we call a sedimentary structure. It's not a fossil. It's just something that is made by wind or waves, not by something that was alive. Uh, so here we have a really cool layer of algae, fossilized algae acting as our surface where the holes are where our ripple marks. If the algae wasn't here, we would absolutely have an amazing site of a full mountain full of ripple marks, which is pretty cool. We also have some possible dinosaur tracks that were crunching through this algae. This was not a really great beach to hang out on. You wouldn't be choosing this spot for beach volleyball. This would be an area that's kind of stinky, kind of scrunchy, kind of smelly. Uh, not, not somewhere where you choose to have your picnic, but it is a really cool spot, 100 million year snapshot of what our beaches would have looked like.